Yeah, egg is so eggy. Wow. Good morning. Good morning from Sri Lanka. And as I said in my videos, I think to understand culture, to understand people, you have to try their food and their cuisine. And today I'm gonna try the pride of Sri Lanka, the hopper. Very excited to try it. I saw it on um, every corner, people doing these pancakes uh, with eggs, with uh, different stuff. And I think it's very simple dish, but sometimes it's uh, really a masterpiece. So let's see. Now we are near the beach in Ahangama and our hotel surprisingly serving breakfast and serving very authentic and very cool breakfast. So it's a Sri Lankan hooper. So my first hooper I will try as a hotel breakfast, but I will explore a lot of them today. So stay with me. Behind my back you can see the Buddha. I hope Buddha will bless my hopper. So let's try. I've already tried many Sri Lankan dishes, but I was very curious about this one. So you can see this beautiful big letter of pancakes. Uh, this one is with egg. Yeah, you can see this beautiful fresh egg, some pepper, very simple as I said, and one plain pooper. In Ukraine we always eat pancakes, uh, but we roll it as a roll and put something inside. It can be uh, caviar, <laughs> if you luxury version of pancakes, it can be some condensed milk, uh, jam, honey, sugar, everything, everything you like. And we have some uh, Sri Lankan potato, I don't know the name, but it's very delicious, very creamy. And some Sri Lankan lentil and mango on the side, just to have it. So, very thin dough and very shaky, you see, it's fresh, very fresh, <laughs> and very uh, shaky, fresh egg. I don't know how to eat it, like, like, like this, or like that, or just, yeah, I, I can just swallow it all, so I will, oh yeah, I will execute it first to understand the structure of the dish. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm. I really like this thin pancake. It's like mm, two millimeters, I don't know, it's very thin, mm. crispy on the sides and very soft inside. And this app, it's not like even fried, you can feel uh, the product itself, you can feel the taste of the egg. Mm. And I personally like it for my taste. And I uh, wanna experiment a little bit I put, and put some, ooh, some sauce. Mm. Yeah, I would say that this simple dish of Sri Lankan cuisine is a masterpiece. Seriously, the person who invited Hooper is a genius. Mm. And I, of course, want to show you how they do it. They do it in a really cool pot. And yeah, it's a, this process is very interesting. So let's continue my Hooper. 
journey. And of course, of course, the plain hooper. The plain hooper has this, um, this, I don't know, this center. Mm, I don't know which flower they use. Is it uh, like rice or is it regular? Mm. But it's tasty and you can dip it in some sauce. Mm. Wow, I love it. I really love it and I'm not a pancake fan. Mm, I prefer like regular bread, but this variation is very cool. Somebody can tell in the comments that I'm very thin and very skinny, but it's not true. And as evidence, I will <laughs> I want to show you how I finish it all. I even put lentil on top. Yeah. And of course, of course, it's not the all, it's just the beginning. And we just saw a place that makes some uh, different hoppers with some uh, fusion fillings with chicken, some sweet hoppers. So we will connoisseur these hoppers. <laughs> So we're gonna film the kitchen. <laughs> then one. How much is it? Um, chicken uh, 500, 550, uh, egg 450, and coconut 200. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So look at that. Oh, there we go. $1,200. $4. So this is the chicken where the hoppers are prepared. Yeah, I'm interested in the process. Very cute lady will make us this hopper, but not the sweet. Salty. Change. Let's sit and wait. So from here we can observe the process of poppers. Popper mania. Yeah. Popper mastery. I think the pancakes is the most difficult uh, dish to do because you have you have to be in the process all the time you have to be focused you have to be focused on temperature of the fire uh, you have to make this dough uh, crazy Sri Lankan buses are here you you have to make this dough very proper in a nice proportions it's very hard guys so these people is making art right here. It's okay, Taco? Okay, yeah.
So uh, we have not only chicken, we have also some greens, some tomatoes and some sauce. And it's very noisy here, so I will shout. As you see, I eat it as a sandwich and it's really juicy and saucy and salty. Mm. And also some garlic sauce. Very flavory. Very good. How is yours? The best. with some meat with some um, it can be chicken it can be pork it can be everything and it, it reminds me of that a little bit but still very unique and delicious Terrible food reviewer. <laughs> How is it sick? That's it. Come on, I'll be professional food reviewer. Come on, turn around. Okay, so we look at the texture. It's quite ready and also very prepared. So the meat looks quite chickeny. You hear the flavors coming into you. You're opening your palate and then you try it. Mm, the crunch is just right and let's try the egg mm, the egg is so eggy moist not too hard it's not chicken. too soft kind of like melts in your mouth at the same time there's a slight crunch to it wow, with the perfect balance good. of pepper and salt so it's not just salty but there's a bit of a pep with the pepper now kill me <laughs> so we are back in our little Sri Lankan castle, little home for two days and this is our white horse yeah, uh, this is probably one of the best way of transportation in a coast if you can drive, you can rent a bike and it's very easy to go from one beach to another and this is the entrance looks very cute and very beautiful and this place have a really nice breakfast I showed you just a part of it and yeah it is what you can get in Sri Lanka for 30 bucks and it was my hoppers journey today hope you enjoyed it and follow me to see more journeys more trying more food more uh, exploring and more places yeah and follow me on Instagram also so are popular here 